Hey there, just a quick vid to show you how to make this awesome three light tea light with sand, clay pot, and copper strip radiant air heater. Pretty self explanatory. You just have the three tea lights, the copper strips, bend them like that, and then you just slide them down so just a little bit over the flame like this. About like that. Then light them up, and you're good to go. The heat of the flame soaks into the copper and that will be conducted down into the center part of the sand. Whereby, of course, it heats up slowly and then it'll eventually just totally radiate the heat for hours. Probably grabs like 90% of the heat of each of these candles. And instead of it normally just going up to the ceiling and losing most of it, it'll soak it down into the sand. Beautiful. It's just clay pots, some sand, some copper strips, and the candles, in this case tea lights. That's literally all it is. I'll very quickly push them down before they get too hot to touch. Not like that. Perfect. All right, at this point, you just wait. About 45 minutes to an hour, this whole thing will get nice and warm and just be radiating the heat. You'll have some heat, of course, at the top right away. There's your sand temp right there, 183 Fahrenheit, 195.5 max, or 84 Celsius, 90.8. Check it out, 300 Fahrenheit. About 150 Celsius. Here's your top temp on the one with the two candles. It's pushing 400, maybe 380 Fahrenheit. It's probably about 175 Celsius. If you want, of course, you can put two candles underneath these instead of just one. You might want to make this a little bit longer, though. Kind of move it in a little and then make it a little longer so that both flames will fit under there. By the way, I usually just buy this by the pound. You can get, like, scrap copper by the pound on Amazon. I think right now it's about $17 a pound. This is about a pound right there. That's the newest. This is the leftover from the last pack I've got. They normally sell it in pieces roughly this size. Even though it's scrap, so you never know what you're getting. It's usually like roughly that size. I love the light that these things throw. Kind of an orangish coppery light like that. It's totally cool. You can use like the regular size candles like this if you want to, just kind of bury them in the sand. But um, as far as cost goes though, you can get like 50 of these for about $2, $2.50 and maybe 100 of them for like 4 bucks. You're going to pay that for just one of these candles, $2.50 to 4 probably for a single candle this size. So if you can, just go with the tea lights, a lot more cost effective. So 
So that's basically it. I'm going to experiment a little bit more with this, but I'll make the vid on this and everything. Maybe we'll do a second vid if I think of anything, you know, outstandingly different. But you can go with like two of these. Three is probably good on a pot like this. One on this one, maybe two. And you could probably do as many as five pieces of copper in this one with five candles. Or you could do two candles under each one of these three if you want. You'd probably get the copper up to like 350 or something if you do that. The sides of this will probably be like 250 or something. But who knows though, if you keep running it, it might get to 300. Also, keep it kind of symmetrical. With this one, it just has the one copper here. You may want to put another piece going down here and going over, maybe where the two pieces meet in the middle. This one's good because it's centered like this, and it's nice and warm now all around the edge, plus a lot of heat on the top, so it's great. There's a 200 even, 193.4, 200 on the sand right next to this. So that's pretty cool. Perfect.